Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this? May I ask, so I tell you. They accept the meaning of angels messenger and they accept the meaning of destiny to make them establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And I also like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Emily Harrison. Before that, I'd like to say thank you for watching this show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. If you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life regression, angelic Reiki, past life regression, meditation, angel cards, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny and their reason for being here. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card or a mixture of both but we'll, we'll get to that later and um, with the wisdom of my wonderful guests like today's guest emily harrison he'll be talking about how to read the akashic records and i have pronounced it correctly because i do have a habit of um, getting that word wrong occasionally now after becoming certified a certified akashic records practitioner in 2015 emily's life shifted dramatically leaving her behind a career in Hollywood. Yes, if you recognize her, you might have seen her on, her on TV. Emily created a healing business that includes teaching, speaking, contributing to the Huffington Post, and mentioning other light workers in the Akashic Records. Emily is the founder and director of the Akashic Academy, which is a modern day mystery school dedicated to sharing knowledge that is changing the planet. And it also has its own magazine, which they kindly allowed me to, uh, to be in. Um, so um, Emily is very passionate about energy work and making the Akashic Records available to those who are ready to take the next step on their journey. With testimonials such as Emily's ability to communicate directly with the Akashic Records to deliver the much needed downloads and channeled messages. It's a beautiful gift to receive and to witness. And also I highly recommend you reach out to her and see what your soul needs to know so you can move into a higher state of consciousness so without further delay, hello Emily and welcome to the Angels of Destiny show. How are you today? Uh, Ray, thank you so much. What a great introduction. I didn't know that you were going to read a testimonial. That made me just open my heart and my, my mind and my soul even more to your audience here today. I'm, I'm really excited to be here and share this time. Honestly, on a personal level, the energies that are moving in the cosmos and in my world right now are really intense. And on a personal level, like I'm feeling very called to step up and grow right now. And there's a lot of different emotions going through me. I'm finding that are woven underneath my work day. There's a lot of get big, Emily. There's a lot of little, like little butterflies in my stomach. Because how many of you guys out there are feeling this too? We're being called to get really big right now. Exactly. And on a very personal microcosm, I'm feeling it in the undercurrents of my energy as I'm showing up. How about yeah. you? How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm feeling. I'm actually feeling really good, and I can feel the energy um, going between us, which is absolutely amazing. It's kind of like, yeah, let's 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 really get going with this. So, before we start this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments, and thoughts. As both Emily and I want you to be part of this conversation, so please don't be try shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone. Um, who says hello and answer any questions or comments live but if we don't get around to them we will answer them um, at the end of the show and if you're watching this on my youtube channel then please give the thumbs up and subscribe so you can be notified of any future recordings so emily why don't you tell us more about yourself and then tell us about the akashic records and how we can access them thank you for asking about me and my personal story i'd love to share it because it it's relatable. Granted, the Hollywood part, maybe maybe not all of you spent time in Hollywood. But let me peel away the layers and talk to you just about the girl, Emily. Just like I said, you know, yes, I have powerful information about the Akashic Records and have built a magnetic and powerful business. But I'm still just this human showing up underneath it. So I'm going to tell you that part of the story. Please. Yes, I grew up small town, Missouri. I am that... It really, it couldn't be more of that storybook where the girl leaves on the bus from the Midwest, heading to Hollywood to see fame and fortune. Exactly how it went. Got off the bus to Hollywood. I actually drove to Hollywood. I didn't know anything. Feeling my way through this environment, 
very, very scared, but excited too. And that is an aspect of human experience that I'm sure all of you have recognized and felt before. You've, you've felt that call to do something very creative, very big, not exactly sure what you're into and you dive into that. So that, be, that created a template in my life, a template of really uh, being brave enough, being, and maybe some people will call it crazy enough, back in, this was in 19, 1997 when I quit college and packed up and headed to Hollywood. So there are a lot of people in my life who are like, what the heck are you doing? Many times when we make big transitions like this, we're talking specifically about energy work, light, light work, this woo-woo. There's a huge correlation to when you jump into woo-woo, we don't know exactly where it's going to take us. And people around us a lot of times think that we're crazy. <sighs> so oh, yeah. I, I've experienced these archetypical storylines that we've all experienced. I did not grow up feeling like I was an awake child. I was not necessarily seeing energy. I felt very intuitive. I was super involved in church. And when I went to church, I felt the spirit moving me, although I did get very bored when the preacher was preaching. I Well, you know what? I got actually a little ticked off, a little offended, because there, I, there, there, there was a rebel part of me that felt like God was going to love me anyway. Um, yeah. we, I talk about my, my church-going days, and I always have to tell both sides of the story, because people who know me from that time of my life, they're like, girl, she was sneaking out of her house. Even though she was in the youth group, she was sneaking out of her house. And this is all true. This is this is definitely the, the nature of who I am, which I've brought to every different journey of my life, from leaving small town Missouri, going to Hollywood. And this is where the transition really took hold for me when I made the jump from Hollywood into 5D Wooland. In Hollywood, I was open to so much more knowledge. People are op more open-minded, more open-hearted in this space more willing to allow for tolerance than where I grew up. And for me, learning metaphysics, learning about the law of attraction became really important. Managing my own energy is basically what it came down to. And when I learned to manage my own energy in the space of my auditions, I became a lot more successful. So I began using metaphysics in the beginning. Like I, was, I was intuitive, I was interested in this stuff. I found that meditation was working. It was helping me be more successful in this dream that I was pursuing. But I had to get real with myself at some point. This dream that I was pursuing had really begun to wear on me. Yes, I had had, I've had a lot of incredible experiences in Hollywood. But one of my life issues written on my energetic template, my blueprint, is rejection. It hmm. comes from... My grandmother, whose mother passed away from complications of an abortion, and that energy becomes part of our ancestry. And my going to Hollywood, yes, I'm a storyteller and all, and this gypsy and all of these other components of me line up to allow me to work out my rejection issues in a really, really big way. I, the biggest acting job I was doing, Ray, was on myself. I was not happy. Mm. When you go to auditions in Hollywood, maybe if you get one out of 100 auditions that you go to, you are a success story, I will wow. tell you. So that's a lot of rejection yeah. that you learn to deal with and maintain on a day-to-day -day basis. I'd given away so much of my power and my creativity for someone else to give me a job and tell me that I was good enough to be on set. And it was wearing on me. Yeah, I was playing the game hard. However, the meditation was also growing on, growing on me and growing me. And I became a groupie to meditation, specifically to Darius Verazante, who had a podcast called The You Wealth Revolution. And he brought many, many different energy healers uh, on podcasts. And I would listen every day and I would do these energy healing modalities they were doing. And I was getting so much benefit out of it. But there was a voice in my head that I could not deny that said, you can do this too. You can do this too. I'm sure that is another example that many of you out there can experience when you show up and you get in this energy and you feel it going like, I can do this too. Perhaps like many of you too, I was self-studied and sponging up all of this information until I got to the point when it was exploding out of me and I just had to practice on friends or whoever would let me just talk about this and practice with them. And there was 
a, a neighbor in my neighborhood. I didn't know him very well. I knew him because he's out walking his dog every day. And then all of a sudden he disappears. And six months later, here he is again, limping down the street. I said, Daniel, what happened to you? Oh, I shattered my ankle really bad. It's not healing well. This comes out of my mouth before I, would you like to come over for some energy healing on my porch? And then I'm like, because I said, I'm not an energy healer. Like, this is just coming out of me, right? Yeah. And and then he said, okay. So I was like, okay, well, here we are. Here we go. So I get them all set up on my little Zen porch. And I've got his foot propped up. And this tuning fork right here, I start waving it around. And I've got big headphones hooked up to him. I'm playing the Sophagio scale. And I'm just doing intuitively whatever is coming forward. And right, his father, who was on the other side who had passed, came into my awareness wow. and gave me such specific and powerful information, including his name, uh, including details of the accident that uh, had affected my friend, that were so undeniable, so healing for both my friend and I in that moment as, as I shared what had happened that it became undeniable to me that this is what happens when you get disciplined with a meditation practice and you expand your consciousness. These are just skills that we have. So I was like, all right, I'm in, I got to help people with this. What's, what's my modality going to be? Am I going to do? And I'm, I'm flipping through this magazine that I got in LA on audition, like furious, like which, which class am I going to take? Nope, nope, nope. I, I knew that I knew it when I saw it. And there, lo and behold, is the Akashic Records. My mom had gifted me an Akashic Records session 10 years prior. So I had an experience with what this energetic realm was. And I thought, that's not a modality. That's a tool. That is an access point where we can dive in. And every single person has the ability to access soul level information. This is information, every detail about you your past, your present, everything that you could possibly do if you were standing in your highest power is recorded for you in this space. Not only for you to read, but for you to witness yourself through this space. I think I saw a question from Jennifer pop up there. You did, I'll just throw that down. How yeah. you make the rejection. That's right, yeah. How'd you break the bonds of rejection to it follow through the account? For a long time, Jennifer, how, how I did that but I have the vocabulary now. I, I didn't know exactly how it happened, but I could tell that I had shifted and changed and I was getting through it. But I have the vocabulary now. When you, I'm doing my work in my Akashic Records, I am not only receiving information and understanding very, very high level patterns about myself and how I work. I'm also witnessing myself through the level of unconditional love and zero judgment the way that God sees me and when I witness myself in that space I begin to make my own DNA become bioluminescent it's like when you turn your awareness inward on you with God's awareness of you you shift and change it changes the crystalline structure it activates and and you begin to vibrate at a different level but you must witness yourself in this way and it's very difficult. This is why it's so difficult for us to love ourselves, for us to break old patterns, because it's hard for us to witness our, we're, we're the forest in the, it's like, it's that old, the saying, you can't see the forest of the trees, right? You're in the trees. Yes. You need this level of witness, either through yourself or somebody who can hold that for you or both. So when I found that I, had this skill and that I believe every single person has this skill. I dove into this training right away. Many of you probably can experience or can recall experiencing something similar too. It was like remembering everything. It wasn't like I was being taught new information, although I give my teacher much credit, my mentors much credit. Once I shifted from being a self-study person to working with a mentor, the growth was incredible, I have to say. So I want to definitely give that value to my mentors. But once I made that commitment to go deep and unlock this level of access, I realized there was nothing that I couldn't do. When you get that on fire and inspired, it becomes impossible really not to share that with other people because I also recognize, Ray, that every single person has pieces to the puzzle that we need here on the planet right now. 
If you are watching this broadcast, you have pieces to the puzzle. It's going to take all of us working on a level playing field. Knowledge and having instant access to knowledge puts us on a level playing field. There are so many things that are out of balance here on our planet. We've got our, our economy and our commerce is out of balance. Our abundance is out of balance. The divine masculine, divine feminine is out of balance. We're bringing these back into balance. One way that we can begin to do that is truly by learning to use the skills we have to access this high level knowledge. When we do right, nobody can lie to you. You cannot lie to yourself. There is no need for disclosure because everything is exposed. We are all on the same playing field. And when light workers recognize that this tool is going to open them up to their highest levels of creativity, things are going to start shifting very, very dynamically on this planet. The title of this show, though, is How to Read the Record. So I want to give you guys the, the tips that you need to get in because I've already told you guys you all have the skills to do it. Yeah, uh, that'll, yeah that'll, that'll be good because uh, I know we've got some people here who've um, done the, um, the the course with you and that, but there's obviously others here who haven't. So, so, so yeah, um, you know, I, I know a bit about the Aroma Cash Records, but, yeah, please go Go well, ahead. Let, let's just open up the discussion a little bit more. How many of you, I know that I have some students in the house, so I know that you guys know that you've been in the records. But for those of you guys who have never officially studied the records, do you feel like you've been in them before? What's your familiarity with them? Ray, you can answer personally since you're here with me. Okay, per personally, I, I haven't gone into them myself, but I have had my records read. And, I would and venture to say that you, you likely have. I think most of us are... We're, we're all using the Akashic field. I'm going to explain to you the difference between the Akashic mm. field and the Akashic records. We're all using some level of this Akashic energy. Being in the Akashic records, where you get this very high level, this unconditional love, God's perspective of you, zero judgment, that requires a few, a few things to tap into. Yes, every person can do it, but you don't get granted automatic access. To that one because it's a very high level of truth first let me explain to you the akashic field and how everybody is interacting with the akashic field okay the akashic field is all around us the akashic field is that layer of consciousness connection of oneness that interplays instantly back and forth with you when you think that you are talking to yourself in your mind it is the data from the Akashic field that is truly responding to you. A characteristic of the Akashic field, this is why law of attraction works, guys, is that it responds to you wherever you are. So when you are in a depressed, funky mood and you start randomly asking questions in your mind that you might not even be realizing, why am I feeling such a funk again today? You're, you're going to start receiving information that, matches the level that you're asking back from the Akashic field. And it is not going to support you shifting and moving out of that. It's going to support you staying there. Okay. When we purposefully shift our consciousness, elevate our consciousness, letting go of the density of the body, the mind, and we move into this state where we are asking from a state of pureness. This is important. It does not mean that you have to have had good karma all day long. <laughs> it does not mean that. Or your life. No. It means that you're seeking taking responsibility. It means that if I'm upset about something, I'm not going in being like, why did Ray do this again? I can't believe she did that. No. What is it that I need to learn about this situation? Why am I being triggered? Why do I keep creating the same situations in my life? If you're not ready to take full ownership, you ain't getting in. No. no, you're just not. You also must be willing to love yourself. If you're not willing to let go of your old story, you're not going to get the level of information that is going to truly heal you. Another more physical component that's very important is sound. 
Okay, sound is a primordial energy. I use the frequency of ohm to connect because that's the primordial sound. The mentor that taught me, we used a prayer that was spoken out loud, a ritual prayer that creates that light bridge to the space of the records. So activating some component of sound is really important. Many of you guys who grew up in other religious environments rather than super, super woo-woo, perhaps like me, more Southern Baptists following the Bible, <laughs> you, you're going to begin to see a lot of these components tied together, right? There, there's something that happens when we speak out to God, to Jesus, with our voice. This is the same thing. It's because your voice is a primordial creation tool, and when you use it with intention to connect to this etheric space, it's going to rearrange the molecules of space and time for you that creates that connection. So ohm is an easy one to use. Okay? Um, if, if you are connected to another divine sound, use that sound. Hmm. I have a very specific method that I take my students in. It's unique to the lineage of those who study with me. It was gifted to me in my records by my masters, teachers, loved ones, and guides. And it has very specific reasoning behind each of the steps that we do that create activation. Mm. But it's not the only way that you can get in. Like I said, you're, you're using some form of the Akashic field almost in every moment anyway, because we're, we have, tend to have so many thoughts that are, and our thought field is so interconnected to this realm. But when we learn to slow down and purposefully access with intention, the information that you're going to start getting is really powerful. Now, there are a tremendous amount of skills and healing that you can uncover when you learn how to use this space very dynamically. But there is nothing stopping any single one of you from beginning to use this and bring this understanding into your awareness more and more. This is like another arm that's coming online for us as human beings. And if you don't, spend time learning how to use this arm and program it and make it work for you. You're just flopping it around. You're like, yeah, I got this other arm. <laughs> yeah, you guys got this arm. I'm going to show you how to play with it a little bit here. I highly recommend those of you who are turned on by this conversation, consider mentorship in this because there is a lot to get. Those of you who are feeling curious and like, oh, I think I want to start trying that. Start trying that. Because you will begin to procure your own journey and experience just by carving out time, space, attention, and giving your curiosity, your open mind to a process. So play with this with yourself. So the three things, remember, you want to own it. You got to own whatever you're going and asking. Own it. Okay? You must be willing to receive whatever they say, shift. You got to be soft. You got to be willing to let go. Be willing to see yourself in the non-judgmental space. Some people insist on still judging themselves. Yeah. Insist on the fact, no, I must be so, such a victim. I must be this. No, you have to be willing to shift and change. You got to have a, a growth mindset. Okay. And how to sound. Very, very simple. Very simple. What questions do we have out there? What questions do you have? <laughs> yeah, well, there's um, a lot of people have actually been um, just talking about, um, you know, saying they love OMS. Um, they're, they're amazing. Yes. And that, yeah. My, mine is actually, um, uh, if, I, if I do sounding, because um, I've got quite a deep voice, but when I go in and I do sounding, um, I actually go really, really high. I can't, if I was to try and do it now, I couldn't do it. But as soon as I tune in and I can, I can get that high frequency that's like, whoa, you know, this, this is, this is, you know, this is absolutely, um, uh, you know, brilliant. And I'm, I'm a lot more, a lot more connected um, and, and that. So I'm kind of like in and then. Whoosh, mm. And then. I yeah, love and that. Then it goes I love that you discovered that about yourself. Mm. That's so cool. I think that we really, and I want to encourage everyone who's watching, play with the different things you know. Mix modalities. We're going to do a little modality mixing here in just a little bit. 
Yeah. But playing with different ideas that come in for you, play with, see how sound works in your body. See, maybe you're a color person. Maybe when you close your eyes, hi, Christy Warnick, and you allow yourself to disappear into a vibrant color, maybe you're going to start feeling your body vibrate in a different way. But you're not going to know unless you play with yourself. And, and and that is is it is playing about and enjoying and enjoying things you know when we were kids we had so much curiosity you know mm -hmm. how does this work how does that work i want to get into that but we lose it when we get older but if we get that curiosity back and start playing about then who knows yes. where 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 it comes it's so, so Jennifer, yeah so jennifer's asked how do you determine your om sound and how do you start i like this one okay well, let's both answer this because if you're a sounder and an omer too, I want to know about, about you too. My personal experience, my ohm has evolved. My ohm used to just be ohm, ohm. And then I started really dragging out all of the vowel sounds of it and also shifting the, the, the tone. So, and by the way, one thing that I, so rejection issues are one of my things. The other thing, I'm just a shitty singer. I am, I'm a bad singer. So am I. And I tried to be a good singer at one point in time and get better and take singing lessons and it actually worked. However, when I own it, sometimes it's not really as pretty as I would like it to be. So but I'm going to do it for you anyway. But it's your own unique home. So this is how I do it now. I drag out as long as I can, and I get a different feeling, a subtle different feeling within my body when my mouth is shifting through those different formations of the, the sounds, the vowel sounds. So that's how I do it. How do you do it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do it. Okay. It's, it's their own game. This is like karaoke. It's I karaoke. Know, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I've, I've even been known to do it um, at the top of Glastonbury tour and in a smuggler's cave once. The, the acoustics were, were brilliant, and it's like, right, there's no one around. Let's do it, and I just did it. And I've actually got a, um, I think I put it on Facebook um, a couple of years ago, and that and that was really amazing. And when I did it at um, top of Glastonbury, because um, they've got the old um, church up there. And I was the only person up there, so I'm so I'm, I'm I'm doing the sounding. And then this lady turned up, and she's sitting there watching me. And I've gone, "Would you like to join in?" She went, "I will in a minute. I'll just go outside." But she wasn't ready to do, you know, to do it yet. Wow, that is an incredible story. I also just have to say, because I can't even hide it, I just got super inspired. We need to like be light workers singing in caves and stuff. We gotta yes. start. We gotta start bringing this about on the planet. We need like cave retreats, where yes. there's toning in caves. Woo! I'm so yeah. excited. Yeah, we 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 need to because there's there's so there's so many different um, places out out there. And if you think about it, a lot of people tend to see um, caves or caverns. You know, um, sometimes having a darker energy mm -hmm. and that. But yeah, if we were to go in and start sounding, we'd be clearing the energy Girl, so, so much more. I did, I left this part out of my story. Sometimes it shows up when I'm telling my story and sometimes it doesn't. I just got to see what comes out. But back in that small Missouri town that I shared with you, the underground railroads go all through this space. So these are the tunnels that during the time uh, pre-Civil War and during the Civil War here in the United States when we had slavery, these were escape routes for slaves. And I was fascinated by these. The entrance, one an inch, one of the entrance was through the fireplace of my friend's house. Oh, wow. So I've always been captivated by this mystical and magical. It's got it's it's got an essence to me that I, I see how it can be dark, but for me, there's more of a connection to finding our ways to freedom. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, Let's and that pull in those tunnels and clear them out together. You want to? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We 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 definitely we definitely got to do that because 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 I, I think that'll be brilliant. So so that's something we'll do. So we get a group of people. I know. How many of you guys want to go too? We're all dreaming big and planning here. So just make your yeah. reservation now. Type yes on in. Yeah, please do. And Jennifer has said thank you both for the for we being willing to do what most of us hold back to doing, especially in front of others. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 the case of it's because we we love doing it and we well for my person I love doing it and you know I just love sharing it and hopefully getting other people to show you know if they can see that I'm not frightened of doing it in public then 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 you know why should they be frightened you know quite often people don't know you you know if you're doing it in like a like that's me tour in that tunnel those people walking past didn't know who I am who I was for Madam. Right. So they're not going to judge me or anything because they don't know me. I'm just that person making a beautiful sound. Well, I think it's a beautiful sound in a in a in a tunnel. And that's so so Jennifer, you know, and anyone else, just do it. Don't worry about what other people think. <clears throat> Yep, there's truly something that will happen to you if you are feeling a little nervous about stepping out in that moment and then you do. You'll create a template for yourself. Mm. Yep. Yeah. John Stewart's in. Yep, yep, he's in and mm. Rhonda's in. Rhonda's in. Rhonda's one of my very first students. I love Rhonda so much. Oh, brilliant. And Jeanette Sanders, we have a cathedral cave in the Lake District here in the UK. Oh. That sounds amazing. Yes, I've, I've never been up to the Lake District. I keep meaning to go, but I've never got up there. So, so that's the day. Um, I got said yes. Um, yeah, Jennifer, she's willing to go and um, do the tunnels. Brilliant, Jennifer. Um, and Kenzel, yes, I'm already in Missouri. I work that I yes, Kenzel is from my hometown in Missouri. There, my girl, she's already there. This is the kind of work that. Those people who resonate with me get excited. This is what we are creating. Inside the Akashic Academy, we're creating training ground for light workers. So whatever your specific area of expertise is, is going to begin to emerge in you once you make the commitment to your discipline of mind, body, spirit. And that's what we've created inside the Academy. We have Tai Chi for our bodies to build the body. We have intuitive development for the spirit, our essence, to build those skills. And we have mindful living where we bring in guest trainers every month to teach about their modality, but to put it in practical terms for you so you can begin to control the mind and stay present more in every moment. Because that's really how we get to the next level, is you're going to string together a day and then a week and then a year and then many years of being present in every single moment where your magic is undeniable to you and when all of us come together living like that it's going to be pretty magnificent obviously we're going to take it we're, we'll take it slow yeah fast and slow at the same time the growth is happening very very quickly and that level of society I don't know how long it's going to take us to get there, but I know that the constructs and the support systems that are needed for these cities to emerge on the planet, to emerge within us, are beginning to happen. And this is your online city. This is your online training school and connection. So for those of you who are not familiar with the Akashic Academy, go to the AkashicAcademy.com. This is our website. Click Get Started. You can learn more about the programs that we offer inside of the Academy. And please feel free to reach out to me if you have more questions. I'm very accessible here on Facebook. Those people who are ready to dive in and get strong with what they're here to facilitate, the, their puzzle pieces, I want to help you. I want to hold that space for you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and I will say that, you know, uh, yeah, Emily is, uh, um, you know, is it's quite easy to, um, to connect with Emily, you know, and... In, in all the various things and do check out um, the, the academy um, you know it's quite it's quite a brilliant thing you know Emily is one of the people you know that all of the all of us that are taking this journey we're trying to encourage others to step onto their their journey 
to bring us all together as a collective because as a collective and a community we can do so much in the world um that you know who who knows where it will take us and what earth will look like well actually i've been into the future so i know what earth will look like and we still exist um yeah definitely definitely been into the uh in, in, into the future um yeah and yeah there, there, there's no worries with her um but it'll be even better when we're all working um yeah. uh, work working together and Rhonda thank you very much um so, so thank it's me having to do that she's she's put that on there so thank you very much now as most of you know normally I do an angel card but this week Emily and I have um, decided that we're actually going to do two things together. So I'm actually going to pull an angel card for um, everyone here. And then Emily is going to tune into the Akashic to see what the message is um, from that card. So, and obviously this is what we all need to know at this moment for our highest good and that. So I'll just give the cards a quick blends, Nicholas. It blends, Nicholas. Blessing the cleanse. So, what does everyone who's watching this? Oh, that one's definitely come out. Need to know if that's good. Vast vistas expand your horizons. Well, I can say this energy is coming in huge for me right now, personally. And uh, I hope it's coming in for you guys too because it's an exciting time, right? I'm gonna channel in some more information for you. They're really calling me to share the story with you guys um, about an energy that I felt come up in, in myself recently, uh, meaning this weekend when I was unloading the dishwasher. And I hadn't felt that energy for, oh gosh, it was, well, let's see, I'm 42 now, I was 19 years old when I moved to Hollywood. And I had been in Hollywood for a couple of months. I was excited, yet the loneliness was setting in. I hadn't made a lot of friends. A three months is not is not a long enough time to integrate from growing up in a town of three thousand people on the Mississippi River to Hollywood, California. I just I just hadn't integrated that quickly, and I was the says taken over, and I was feeling the data from the field, right. As I'm walking down to get my coffee, I'm feeling the, the voices, Emily, no, just go home. Go back to Missouri. You're, yeah, this was fun, but let it go. Don't, don't just like go figure out how you can exist in a safe place and get your ass back there, basically, was what it was telling me. Who are you to do this? Look at all the interruption you're causing in other people's lives. Meaning my, my family and the connections that I was tied to at that point in time. And I knew that they were voices. And I knew that I I was just the pro, it was just the data. And I knew that I needed to shut it down and I did. But man, it got me, it got me good. Here's what I want to share with you. And it got me again this weekend because I got big stuff on the horizon that I'm super excited that I'm working on, but it's causing me to expand bigger than I ever have before, ever. And I felt that come up again. What I want to share with you is one, that story so expected. It happens to everybody. It happens to me, I'm sure. Right yeah. now, attest to yeah, that. It happens to me as well. When it happens to you, Please recognize it right now. Just agree. I'm going to recognize that as part of the cycle. I'm not going to recognize that as real. Real is only real in a moment. As soon as you shift your perspective, real, truth, you shift. You manifest. You shift instantly. This is going to be what makes or break you moving through and out to your next phase. I know that this is pattern. I know that so many of us are experiencing it. How many of you guys can identify right now with having have felt that come up in you? That who are you to do this? And, and just in the past week, 
It's going to come up. It's okay that it's coming up. Please lighten the load when it comes up. Recognize it's part, like don't attach to that. Because when, when it comes up for you, Ray, and you don't attach to it, and I got when it comes up for you and you don't attach to it, and Jennifer, when it comes up to you and you don't attach to it, when I was unloading my dishwasher, I'm like, no, hell, I got tools. Give me a sacred geometry. Where is it? And I don't attach to it. We're empowering each other. Because we are all divinely connected in that one space. And when we bring our awareness to the, the connection that we have and the support that we can give each other going through this process just by getting big in ourselves, it's huge. Kinzel, I love you. Yes, 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 yes. I also just would like to bring in a transmission quickly from mm -hmm. Red. Yeah. Just to help support this identification, okay? Because what happens is it sneaks in. This energy, this subtle energy will sneak into your energy field. And you won't recognize it as a pattern coming in. You're going to think it's how you really feel. You're going to be like, oh, that's me. That's how I feel. Oh, shit. No. I just want to bring in this, this level of pattern awareness, okay? You really have to love yourself no matter what and stop judging your life. It's hard. It is hard, Michael, until it's easy. That's why one of the reasons I love the record so much is because it allows for that witness. And, and it is hard. It's hard because it's like telling somebody, describing what chocolate ice cream tastes like if you've never had yourself made chocolate ice cream or any ice cream before. There's no frame of reference. There's very little frame of reference of what it means to be totally, deeply, unconditionally in love with yourself. That's why we need to alter our consciousness to be able to witness it. Just like Ray was like, oh, I went into the future. Yeah, you need to go into your record so that you can witness this. Because we're not actually witnessing, most of us are not actually witnessing this aspect of ourselves as we're showing up here in the free. Thank you. All right. Brilliant. Thank you. I, I love I love the way the cards and the um, uh, Akashic Records work together there. You know what I almost just said? I was like, all right, let's do a card now. I, yeah. so I totally jumped out of time and didn't even realize that we just like, oh, we actually know Emily, you just we just did the card reading. We 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 we, we did, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and, yeah, and and that's and that's that's you know that's the brilliance about all the different um, gifts and talents that we all have. You know, we can merge them and mix them together and help each other and everyone else out there because that's what we are here to do. Not to be an individual. This is this is what I'm doing. You know, nothing else. It's like let's just all join together, all work together because that is that is what we're here for. A little more coming in now. I so agree with you. And it's fun when we get in here and play like this because the energy just keeps going. It keeps coming. More insight coming in for you guys. If this is resonating with you and you know who you are, detoxing is important right now because if you have too much caffeine, too much sugar, too much preservative and just shit in your body, it's going to affect your ability right now to make this big leap. It's really, really important that you have um, a clean, clear awareness of your physical energy and your, your biomagnetic energy right now. Okay. And, and I think um, you're, you're going to find, because um, I, I know that um, people I've been talking to have, that your taste in foods are going, is, are going to start changing now anyway, and you're going to be looking at that going, do I really, oh, that's got added sugar in it. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy that. Mm -hmm. um, be, because our bodies are now getting getting to that point where food, drink, caffeine are not going to are not going to be good for us. Um, you know, my own personal thing. You know, I haven't been able to drink alcohol for the last three years, and and that you know, going from my favourite tipple brandy to absolutely. Tiramisu, I can't even have tiramisu oh. with, with, without the alcohol in it, making me feel oh. sick. I know. Oh. I know. It's like, oh, it was like, I had some really nice bottles of brandy that I had to give to my mum. It's like, here you go. <laughs> and that, but I, that's just my body changing. 
I've noticed the ice. I still hang on to coffee. I'm not perfect in mine. I still really like my coffee. Oh, I still like chocolate, um, but I tend to make me own. Yep. Yeah, I so I'm I'm definitely not perfect in this, but I have definitely shifted into a majority of a plant based diet. I just want live food in my body. I just want life force energy in the foods that I eat. Yeah. Yeah, but also and make sure make, your energy too. I'm sorry, blessing your food and your water yes, too. Yes, that's hugely important. That it's easy to skip. That that is, and the tip I've got um, is in all my jugs I have uh, crystals, and that's the water energy. And on my uh, water jug in my fridge, I have um, I bless this water with pure love and light, and I bless this water with pure source energy. So I'm always drinking, everyone comes around, it's always drinking less water. And it's that easy. Like exactly. stick, stick a post-it note on your Brita, okay? Come on. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's easy thing, you know. We always try and make things so complicated. We do. Um, you know, but when we were just chatting to Christy yesterday, it's like we don't need to because everything is so simple. If we make it simple, it just works absolutely um you know absolutely uh, uh brilliant brilliantly and that uh, so emily do you have any insights or thoughts that you can leave everyone watching today well are there any specific questions we could go a lot of different places with that are you yeah. noticing any, any areas where there are trends of comments coming in where do where is wisdom and insight important to you guys and let me show up and serve you today yeah um yeah, very um, a lot of positivity actually that um, people are sort of like saying, you know, um, they. Okay, cool. So let's do this. Here's what's coming in. Our tendency can be when we're experiencing a lot of positivity and we're like getting a lot of energy moving here. Sometimes, well, if, especially if we can't hold it. Oh, if you're not good at holding your joy, guess what? You will self sabotage it away very quickly. So we've cultivated a lot of positive energy here. Thank you. That's an honor to create that. Let's expand how much we can hold before we go together. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. So just focusing on the energy in the body right now, everybody, bring your awareness, tune your awareness inward. We create a lot of dynamic power, explosive energy, taking us to the next level. Lots of joy. We've had some good laughs. Had a good lightness of being here while we're doing very serious work. That feels good. Tune in, feel that within your body. And just notice what your body's doing. And all I want you to really do is focus on your ability to hold it. And then if you want to expand a little bit to that and then hold it. And by holding it, I mean, turn your, tune your awareness inward and feel it. Feel where your body's tingling. Feel where your bodily, body is giggling to you on the inside. And just be there with it. Sometimes it feels too good to be inside of our body and we run away from it. So we gotta get comfortable allowing ourselves to experience it. Just focusing and holding in the awareness. It's actually really fun. We're cultivating joy, cultivating expansion, cultivating peace, lightness of being. Increasing our ability to hold this in our energetic frequency. Ground that in now, everybody. Send that all the way down out your feet into Mother Earth. This is not only gonna help stabilize each one of us, but it also gives that energy back to Mother Earth. So deep and so it is. Good luck. No, I felt good. I kinda wanna stop. I got yeah. I, I got some more calls today that I got to get to, but I kind of just want to sit here and bliss with you guys and like giggle and grin, if that's cool. <laughs> okay. Well, well, you'll 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 have to come you'll have to come back on um, in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a future show. And um, with the energy, I was all gold sparkles. Ah. Like <laughs> um, and Stacy says, does your body always tangle? I think that tangle is that tingle to the very highest vibration. Is your body always tingling? Your her body. I think it's tingling. Yeah. I think it's tingling. Yeah. Um, talk to your water or your attention and what the water will be like and do it for you. Most definitely. And 
who was it that asked um, that? If I can go back on this, come on, computer. No, let me do this. Um, now somebody did ask, and I've gone and lost. Oh, there we go. It's going up. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Don't you just love technology? Um, Jennifer, what I'll do is I'll put um, in the comments how I how I bless how I bless my water and food. Um, and if anyone else has, you know, have got their ways of they're doing it, you know, put those in the comments as well so we can all see what everyone does and we can take bits from from what resonates with us to how we can do it so that that we're all um we're all actually all actually doing it. Um so yep, yeah, um, there's yeah, there's lots of um comments about uh, how they can how they can bless water. Um so we, you know, we, we've got to we've got to kind of wrap up the, wrap up the show now. Um, but I'm definitely going to have Emily back um, at some time, time, time in the future. So everyone, I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I would like to invite you to share this video. As I'm sure there are many more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny, just like you, um, and that you found this show really um, insightful. And the words of wisdom that Emily has given you um, can help you further on your journey. So Emily, if people want to connect with you um is it just through the um akashic records.com or are there other ways they can get in contact with you yes go to the akashic records.com there's a contact button right there on our menu drop down just click on it and you can either email me or hop on my schedule for a 15 minute consultation if you're interested in learning more about if you can do this, if you're really good at it, how it can change your life. Those of you out there who are curious to learn more, please feel free to hop on my schedule for that. And you're going to find it at theakashicacademy.com under our contact section. Brilliant. And if you have reached that um, crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Um, reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute um, video session where we can have a chat and you can find out more about me I can find out more about you and whether we can actually work together and if future life progression interests you um, then I'll be teaching a three-day certified future life progression practitioners course on the 15th 16th and 17th of November at the Clarendon Hotel in Blackheath so please feel free to contact me for more details so if you're over visiting um, from overseas and you're in the country at that time you're more than welcome to uh, to come along take a break in your holiday um, and I'll just have to say thank you again thank you all for watching and thank you so much for Emily it's been absolutely brilliant having you on my show and chatting to you and yeah I just love the energy it's I've so enjoyed. amazing thank you so much and uh, so everybody um, hopefully I'll see um, some if not all of you next Wednesday but otherwise, have a brilliant um, rest of the day or evening wherever you are in the country and we'll see you all soon.